So this is my review of As a Cartoonist by Noah Van Skever. I actually haven't read any other of his books. I'd never heard of them until I saw this at the library. I'm trying to promote the library. And you, you do, everybody does know that if the library doesn't have what you want, you can suggest a purchase. And they 95% of the time, if, they can, if the book is available, I, the library always gets it for me. So if your library doesn't have this, this is a good book. So if you remember, I'm borrowing, I've been reading lots of graphic books since the past four years, writing my graphic memoir. But one of the biggest advantages I sometimes think about graphic books is it kind of cuts out all of the peripheral stuff. I used to read a lot of um, autobiographies. And sometimes people, mostly celebrities that I read, will start off telling you about their grandparents. <laughs> And I'm like, ah, and writers are judged by how much of a backstory they give for lots of for stories and fiction and nonfiction. And I've always kind of jumped over that and just didn't want to get to the action. And I always think that's kind of a major advantage of graphic books. They just kind of cut out the extraneous information. So I just thought I would tell you a little bit about the storyline. I'm not going to, hopefully it won't be any spoiler alerts. Um, like I said, it's a, I like it. It's a, it was a good book. It was easy to read and it wasn't confusing whatsoever, which I sometimes really think that a lot of graphic books just seem to be one long run on sentence. There's no separate sap chapters and this book has separate chapters. So this is the first that I wanted to kind of share. I got little notes in here. Oh, I wrote down that this was interesting to learn too, that Mormons can't work on Sunday, which is kind of what Catholics aren't supposed to either. But <laughs> uh, so I wanted to go over the art here is pretty good, and it's, it's, it's there's a clear def difference. You can easily tell from his present day to his childhood, and that's easy to find. And the colors are good in this. His his artwork is easy, but it's it's good. I like it. So the next page I wanted to go over to, thing is um my little notes here is bottom right was a good lesson yeah so i'm trying i'm gonna eventually write a graphic novel too i haven't I could decide on what i want to do after i finish with my graphic memoir about mom remembers me about taking care of my mother and how i use my health and fitness laws to stop her from forgetting me but this was kind of good he developed his own style based on artists like chrome chester brown david collier and others he used dense cross hatching it was rough looking but something happens after years of dedication to your craft. Your work becomes more confident. Either your level of detail sharpens or you lose the detail and you simplify. And that's something I think about a lot now. I think we all need practice. You know, we sometimes we look at YouTube videos on how to get better at our drawing and art. And the, the, the bottom line is you have to practice. Keep on practicing, right? This one, I, I just wanted to show this. I thought these two pages were very, very good. Makes me want to be in the, in the try to draw. Both of these are very good. I like these. And then this one, you know, I sometimes, uh, my both of my parents were in my life a, a great deal, even though my parents were divorced, but I saw my father on a regular basis. But I always, over my lifetime, I've just thought it was just so unfair that if a father is not in a person's life, it does really affect. It's like, not fair. Why can't the mother be as influential to somebody's life? And I have read studies that girls without a father are more promiscuous and boys are more violent. And I always remember John Stossel decades ago talking about a show. I think he was on 60 Minutes or 2020. He talked about you need the father to tell you that you can do it. When you fall down and skin your knee but you also need your mother to hug you when you were crying and tell you it's okay and so you kind of need both and i've often thought if I, my, with my parents this was opposite <laughs> my mother was the one that would say come on you get up you can do it and my father was you know when i was a kid he was okay crying as an adult he didn't he was kind of shocked when i cried about things so but between the two of my parents what they were one of both one of them said Get yourself up, dust yourself off, and just get going. So I sometimes think if you, and I put this in my book, if you don't have a good father figure, then create one in your head to, to, to do, to give you what you need, and maybe find somebody. 
Oh, I have this other thing here. I forgot to... I wanted to show this. Oh, yeah. I like this two-page spread, too. Of this, was a, this was good art. This was a good art. Some Looks more like a Victorian era, possibly. This is Noah Van Skever, 2017. So this I want to show because uh, I like his drawing analogy to driving drunk, I wrote. So they're in one of these things he, th he realized, he thought there was a, a good analogy between driving drunk and drawing, which I don't really see that, but maybe at certain times, right? I think drawing is relaxing. I tried to get my mother to draw, but she hated drawing, And but then that's, that's also part of the neurological test, which I which I think is crazy. Betty Edwards says in her book, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, that nobody can draw a cube unless they're taught. But the neurological tests use a cube as one of their tests or assessments with no training. Don't even ask the person whether they like art or if they've never done any art. So I think that's why I always point out to all the YouTubers and artists that they're good for drawing. And I also learned about the another video from about aphantasia. So if somebody has aphantasia, which means you can't picture anything in your head, how would that, they would just judge somebody as being really bad on their neurological test if they had aphantasia and they couldn't even draw a cube. And that's not, that's not to do with their cognitive functioning. This one, I just, he has a brother that sometimes <laughs> wasn't always was back and forth and helpful and not helpful so he just said he thought that his brother gave him something but he found it on the ground near some dog shit and cleaned it off and some gave him some snow so he thought it was a present but his brother found it on the on the ground i think um oh it was a, it was a little um kind of a circle thing um i forgot what it was this one I, oh this was really good i like this so I like the perspective, so you get to kind of learn the aerial view. I might copy this in my journal. In my journal, just to copy the view is good. The aerial views are always kind of a challenge. Just kind of looking up. This was great. And this was just a really good story of what happened as a kid and what he did. <laughs> what happened. I'm not going to spoil this. This is a good story of what happened. It's kind of a big mistake, and his mother was upset at him. <laughs> Very entertaining. And there was a, it ended with a a good story talking to his father, and they, they they talked it out. I thought that was really good. So thanks for listening. I hope if you liked it, please do me a huge favor and and click the like button if you if you want some more graphic novels and. Um, Bujo's and health and fitness information. If I could get you to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Okay. Happy New Year.